I've been trying to come up with a quick and dirty way to measure dice to see how thick they are. Um, in modern dice manufacturing, you uh, get the dice out of the die, you dip it in paint and drop it in a rock tumbler. Um, and this will take the paint off, but it takes a little bit off the sides of the dice, which can cause an unevenness. Um, so I've been using a set of digital calipers that I got from my buddy Wes. And these can be picked up at Harbor Freight and Tool for around 10 bucks if you get a coupon for them. So you just stick the die in between the prongs, close them in, and you can get a measurement of you know the sides. And you'd want to measure it out for each side to see the difference. Not a lot of people can afford this, so I came up with an idea based off of Lou Zochi's diagram that he hangs up at his booth. This diagram is he's taken five sets of dice, and he's made a stack, and then randomly built the stack again, and they're a different height. And if you notice, it does it all the way across until you get to the game science. They're all different sizes except for game science because game science dice are not tumbled. And they go through a process where they check the dice just to make sure they're within conscription, um, it, within a certain constraints. So I came up with this. I took this plastic tube and filled it full of dice. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a line at the top of my top die with this Sharpie. Now, um, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to empty this out and reinsert these back in randomly. And you'll notice I've taped a die to the bottom of the tube. That's to keep them from falling out because that tube doesn't have a bottom. So let's randomly put them back in here. And what we're doing is we're trying to see the difference. It, um, you know, a quick and easy way to see if there's a difference between the dies in what the first time I put them in and the second time. And there is a millimeter difference, if you've noticed in the video. And I'll draw another line there. And you want to do this a couple times. Um, from there, you can see how big of a difference you have, if you have any difference at all. With modern dice in the last 10 years, I haven't really noticed any problems with dice manufacturing. Um, it was before then. I've been playing D and D for over 20 years, so um, there, you know, used to get some really funky looking dice that have been tumbled a little bit too long. Um, but if you notice there, it's back up to the the line that it was at. So the difference between the first one and the second one, you know, you have to divide all those dice up between that, you know, half a millimeter. Or a millimeter and that's like a hundredth of a millimeter on each die if each die had a problem so that there I, w I would say that's fine you know but the thing that um, I want to see is I want to see how these are done um, how these are manufactured so if anybody knows anybody at dice manufacturers um, I would love to see a how-to video I know artesian dice does it as well and I would just love to see how dice are made from you know from the big guys like Chessix and Wiz Dice and you know just to see how everything's going and how well, how they do everything so if you know anybody just uh, give them a shout out and say hey we'd like some how-to videos this is pretty cool